We're back with Damon Vickers, Chief Investment Officer, Nine Points Capital Partners, staying with us live out of uh, Seattle, uh, Washington. Uh, Damon, you guys are uh, a hedge fund, and what you guys basically do is uh, you try and catch breaks either to the up or downside. Uh, apparently, with oil, also with gold, you've uh, done the timing pretty right, God, and just as it started to uh, oil up past 75, gold past uh, 1,000. Are you going to sit on those positions then? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> yeah, there's this is this is, you know, this is I mean, you can think a lot about it and you can, you know, you know, you know, one day and, and you know, have all these vacillations psychologically. But, you know, this is the time to, you know, to play ping pong, to, you know, uh, pick up, uh, you know, get involved in model making or or, uh, or something ridiculous. I mean, it, it, this is the time where you make money where the trend develops. And so there's really not a lot to do with it. I mean, oil looks higher, gold looks higher, currencies look weaker, all for the reasons that we talked about before. I mean, you've got huge wage disparities. I don't know how that inevitably resolves itself. Um, it may resolve itself in some type of a, of a global currency crisis. And then if the global currency crisis unfolds, then inevitably you get, uh, I guess, an alignment under a, a global world government. Uh, a new global currency um, and a new world order. Uh, so we may be moving towards that. Mm, talk to us a little bit more about this uh, currency crisis you see uh, erupting. What does that assume about what's going to happen to the dollar? Well, it, it assumes that the dollar will utterly get destroyed and become <laughs> virtually yeah. worthless. You know, we have a, a combined. Well, I mean, here, here's what we know. We know that that, that if if you can produce something that this this <laughs> this game that we have going on in the United States and on a planetary basis cannot perpetuate itself forever. We've got a 65 trillion dollar negative net worth. We cannot possibly meet with our health care costs and our, our, you know, our indulgent society, which, which we'd have in the United States. We can't put that against the, labor, the unit labor cost of a China that can produce something at a dollar an hour versus $24 an hour with health benefits and you know, all, the, all that that's built into there. So how does that inevitably resolve itself? Well, so we're seeing it the US, itself. So you're saying the U.S. needs a softer, weaker, more competitive dollar uh, partly because of this whole wage disparity, but then again, overnight we had the productivity numbers out nine and a half percent. I mean, that makes up for a lot, although at yeah. that kind of rate, it's probably not sustainable. <laughs> yeah, it's not sustainable. It's yeah. a great number, and I, I, we love to see people productive. I mean, let's get going. I love it. But how do you I, how do you how do you create a global marketplace so that everybody benefits so that the, the standard of livings are not so great so that you don't have this mad rush to deplete the world's resources which is kind of what we have now what are the what are the, the initiatives that have to be carried through and the Western economies the United States Europe Canada they don't we don't have resources. Neither does a lot of Asia, to be quite frank. So yeah. I don't know how I don't know what they're going to do with all the holder all of all those reserve dollars. Um, but we see that the that the currencies that have resources, the Brazils, the the Canadas, the uh, uh, where else? I mean Australia, that their currencies are doing well. Their stock markets have done the best year to date because they have stuff. They've got resources. Mm. They export real things, and the United <clears throat> States ex exports promises and 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 pretty paper. All right. Listen, Damon, we got to go. You, you have yourself a great weekend. Damon Vickers, uh, Chief Investment Officer, Nine Points Capital Partners, live out of Seattle.